Stuart Freepland joined Bonnie Prince Charlie in the 1745 rebellion to restore the House of Stuart to the British throne. During this time, Fingas Castle, his family home, was damaged by government forces, and his brother, David, was killed at Prestonpan. He joined the prince as attending physician, joining him up to the Jacobite successful invasion of Derby and after the defeat of the 1746 Battle of Culloden Moor outside Inverness. Culloden marked a decisive end to the rebellion. As the Jacobites dispersed, Threepland joined the prince in hiding. Whilst a fighting force could have potentially been reassembled, since a third of the Jacobites had slept through the battle, Charles called for the army to disperse until he could return with reinforcements from France. In the ensuing chaos, possible betrayals occurred, as it is argued that the son of a Jacobite clansman, Lovett, switched sides. Lovett would later become General Simon Fraser of Lovett of the British Army. Whilst in hiding, Threepland, along with Dr Archibald Cameron of Lochiel, attended to Archibald's brother, Donald, who was seriously wounded. Donald Cameron of Lochiel had been in command of the strongest Jacobite regiment during Culloden and had been one of the several leaders to attempt to continue the rebellion. When he could only rally 300 men as they rendezvoused at Fort Augustus, the leaders had then dispersed and a government campaign into the highlands to hunt the rebels had begun. Threepland attended to Lochiel's wounds in a cave on the slopes of Ben Alder. When Lochiel recovered, Threepland returned to Edinburgh, disguised as a Presbyterian probationer. Threepland eventually escaped to Rouen in France and joined Prince Charles in Paris. He returned to Edinburgh and to clinical practice in 1747. Today, in the collection of the Royal College of Physicians Edinburgh is an 18th century travelling medicine chest of French origin. This was possibly brought by Charles to Scotland in 1745. It certainly belonged to Threepland.